there, Ryan. Kimberly here with Elite Roots Digital Marketing Agency. I reached out and spoke with you earlier, promising this short video, just giving you a few tips to help you increase your online traffic. Now, and I don't want to waste anyone's time, so at the end of this video, if you like what you've heard and would like any further help with getting more leads for your business, then give me a call. But if not, no harm, no foul. Please take these tips and use them for yourself, or even give them to your the, the marketing agency. I know when we talked on the phone that you said that you had signed a, con a annual contract, um, so feel free to give this to them too. I really don't mind. So there's really three things that I'd like to go over in this video. First is going to be your website, second is going to be your Google business profile, and third is going to be the back side of your website. So first we're going to start with your website here. Now and there's a couple of things that I really do like about your website. You've got your phone number up here, you've got uh, multiple ways of contacting, which is great. Social media icons, nice and clear exactly what you do. Fences, gates, and access control. Love that. As I scroll through your website, the one thing that I am noticing that you kind of do lack is just content in general. Now, and when I'm talking content, I mean the words, of course, but also the pictures and how those pictures are saved can actually be read by Google's bots as well. So making sure that you have these pictures saved as keywords, which I believe this one was, if I remember, if I take a look, yep. Fence Installation Kansas City, Kansas. That's a great keyword to have on this one. I am, of course, not going to save this to my computer. Um, but I just wanted to show you how those pictures are saved definitely does matter. Now, in con that much content, 1,500 to 2,000 words is really what Google likes to see. And that much is for a couple of reasons. Um, Google's algorithms actually does take the amount of content alone into factor when it comes to getting you ranked to the top of a search engine page. Second is actually the amount of content you have on your page for the most part really directly affects the number of keywords that you're able to fit into your page. And the number of keywords that you're able to fit really makes it um, so that you have more keywords on your page. And the more keywords that you have on your page, the more you're going to be found for different services that you provide. Now, and I have a list here of a bunch of different tool of a bunch of different uh, keywords. Goodness, I'm getting tired. Getting tired tonight. <laughs> bunch of different keywords here. Um, Fence Companies Kansas City is one of the biggest ones with a volume of 700. So 700 times in a given month, someone is searching for that particular keyword. As you see here, there's several different ones for fences and gates in Kansas City. So the second thing I'd like to talk to you about is going to be your Google Business Profile. And when I type in a search, the first thing that pops up here is called the Map Pack. And in this Map Pack, the top three Google My Business profiles are listed. Now, to get to the top of this is very important because 40% of the search volume for Fence Companies Kansas City, remember that was 700 search volume, goes to these top three companies. So 40% of that is around 300. So we're talking over 100 for this top, top Google business profile. Someone's clicking into their website or giving them a call straight from here and not going any further down the page. So very important to, to try and, and boost, your, boost your profile to get you up into at least the top three, preferably, of course, the top spot. And right now, you're sitting at a 3.6 star with five reviews, which isn't too bad. Definitely start pushing for more five-star reviews. The more, the better. Um, more reviews is really going to help Google's trust in you, which helps boost you up into the top of that area. There are more things that go into it. I also see you're lacking in photos on your Google My Business page here. Definitely want to add more photos. I know you have quite a few of them between your Facebook page and your website. You have quite a few photos. I love the scroll through on this, by the way. So really add more photos. Make sure they're saved as keywords before you're adding them here, of course and that'll really help you as well. There's one other thing that really goes into getting you to the top of this, and that is citations. Citations are just listings of your business in different directories across the web. And directories are like House and Home Advisor and Angie and Yellow Pages. Those are some of the real popular ones, but there's hundreds of them out there. You just have to go out and find them. Easiest way to find more is to look into these top three businesses, see what directories they're in, and go in and get in the exact same ones. 
But then you want to go out and find even more because you want to beat this top guy and blow him out of the water. You want to beat him by a lot more citations. That'll really keep you in this top sp spot and make it hard to uh, catch, hard to catch you. Um, the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is going to be the backside of your website. Now, and to get you in the top spot down here in the organic section, which right now is actually uh, Angie. Angie's got this top spot. And the reason a lot of directories and uh, even Wikipedia oftentimes gets into this very top spot is because they have content on their page and then they have a fair amount of power behind their, their page as well. Now, and I'm talking about the power when we talk about this section because we've already talked about content and keywords on your page. So when it comes to power to your site, we're talking about backlinks and referring domains. Right now you're sitting at 30 referring domains and 195 backlinks and you're being found for 154 keywords. Now and what are backlinks you might be asking? Backlinks are just links from one site back to yours. That's all they are. Now in some of those citations that we talked about will give you a backlink but those aren't going to be the strongest ones out there. You want to try and find nice and strong backlinks and stronger ones are going to come from sites that have something to do with fences or gates and have a more powerful site than you. It's kind of like popularity contests back in high school. Um, you know, the popular kids, they'd have a lot of influence on the people around them. Well, if you were friends with that popular kid, then you'd start to have more influence on the people around you. Same goes for the web. If you befriend and get a backlink from a real popular website that has something to do with services that you provide, well, Google's gonna see that and say, oh, these guys have a little bit more power. We'll go ahead and let them influence other people now. <laughs> so, best analogy I can give for backlinks. It's hard to describe sometimes. So if we look at the kind of the top competition in your area here, they have 221 referring domains, giving them 1.3 thousand backlinks. And they're ranking for 276 keywords. So between all of that, they're getting 838 clicks to their website per month versus right now you're only getting 24. What would you do with your business? How would you, your business grow with another 800 potential leads coming to your website and turning into possible clients and turning into actual clients? How much revenue would that actually uh, increase for your company in a month? All right, so that's all I have for you in this quick video. If you'd like to know more on how I can help grow your business and bring you new customers, please reach out and we can chat. But if not, no big deal. Please enjoy these free tips I've given you. I, I don't, and if you don't mind, please do give me a little bit of feedback. I'd like to know that I was at least helpful a little bit for you. And thank you so, so much for watching.